Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how to use the new feedback option that's been added to Google Forms. Now, this is an option you can use when you create a Google Form to be a quiz. And you want to make sure that when you create your form in the settings, you select quizzes and choose to make this a quiz. And then go through and set up your answer key. Uh, now, I want to look at my responses. So I have one person who's already completed this quiz. I'll go into my responses and choose individual. By default, you'll be shown the summary of responses, but we want to use individual. We want to give individual feedback on individual questions. So I have my student's responses here, my student named Tim, and he answered this question incorrectly. Uh, he said the main ingredient was bread, and the correct answer was lobster. So I'm going to add some feedback for him, and I'll write, I can see why you might think that bread is the main ingredient. However, lobster is the main ingredient. And you can see here, I can even put in a link to more information if I wanted to link to a web page or link to a video for my student to watch about making a lobster roll. Uh, I could do so. I'll save that. And now when I re return the grade to Tim, he'll be able to see that individual feedback as well as the raw score feedback. So that's how you can add individual feedback to individual questions to quizzes made in Google Forms. As always, for more tr tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.